this is Mickey's Kitchen, and I'm here today on May 13th, 2021, Thursday, and this is Going Girls Day. I've been waiting for this. I love that show, and it's always on TV, and I love it, but I got something in store for you. It's called the Golden Girls Pot Roast with mashed potato and a smoothie asparagus. Golden Girls. But anyway, I had to cook my roast this morning. It takes two hours. So I season it up this morning, put it in the oven, and just got done with it for two hours. And I pulled it out, I let it set for a second. I use with my pot roast now. It's the Cheyenne pepper, honey, Tony season, a little bit of butter, and salt and pepper. And I rubbed it, and I put it in a bag. It has a lot, a lot of juice there. But anyway, let me sip my coffee, Golden Girls. Mm-mm. I've been waiting for this. But anyway, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're watching my videos. But let's get back and let's pull this pot roast out, Golden Girls. Let's see. Oh, Marty. Oh, look And I got cheese, so I'm going to pour it over. I got juice in there. But I wanted to show you how it looks like. Ooh, it's steamy. Ooh, Golden Girls. Look at that. Oh, mighty. It's still steamy. But anyway, I got that in store. And let me show you. Asparagus was cooking. And it's already soft. Ooh, look at that. Ready to go. Let me drain it a little bit. It's all ready. I don't want to overburn it, so that's how it looks like. Asparagus. Okay, put this off the side. And let's do a little, little. Let's drain this. Rinse this. Let's bring this over because the pans are still hot. So, let's see. Okay. You got a lot of juice there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, then I'm gonna use the same pan over so I can put my roast beef in. I had everything ready. Yeah, it's gonna be scrumptious. And then my juice that is left over in the bag with the water. I'll put that off the side because I gotta juice it up. So anyway, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. But anyway, I'm gonna cut it sideways. Oh my. That looks good. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. Let me cut this. Cut this real good. Yeah. I've been waiting for this girl, girls. But they, they don't eat as much because they just always talking about each other and, and uh, they stick together and they take care of each other. I tell you, I love it. I love it. But anyway, I'm going to slice it. Oh my gosh. I have to show you. I have to show you. There you go. See? Oh, mighty. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Golden girls. Golden girls. It's a beautiful day out there. It was kind of, you know, muggy at times this morning. But you know what? That's the way it is. <laughs> but anyway. A promise made in the dark. Lit by a single back. flame. Get that back. A desperate. Get. 
And here we go. I got it in control. Okay. Slicing this all up. Oh, my. Oh, I need to put some on the pan. It's still hot. Yeah. But this came out so scrumptious. Oh, mighty. Yes, Golden Girls, I'm here. I didn't forget you. <laughs> but be a friend. It's nice. Very nice. They got a beautiful home. Beautiful kitchen. I love it. Love it. Uh, that's my show. And I've been waiting for this. Yeah. There you go. I think I got it made. Works this. This is uh, just like that. I'll show you how it is. Woo wee. Look at that. A pot roast, Golden Girl. A pot roast. <laughs> Put this off the side for right now. Mix this off. Yeah. I love that show. You just laugh. You can't you can't keep a straight face on that show. You're always laughing. Wherever they do, they get on each other. And I love it. I love it. Okay. Got that all done. Now, I got the juice, so I'm gonna put this all over the juice so it can soak in. Just like that. Oh yeah. Just like that. And this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. You have to see this. I'm gonna stick it back in the oven. Just like that. See the juice? Very, very excellent. Okay. Now, I showed you my asparagus. It's all butter up. Just like I said. Look at that. It's good for you. And then, I got my mashed potato already. Yep. You could do it any way you want. But this is how I did mine. And Tony loves the mashed potato. But it's all prepared. Look at that. Mashed potato. Very good. Now. Let me. Let you know. That. Everything. Is done. That's all I have to do. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. Get this. Get my fork. And put that like that. Oh my gosh, it looks so scrumptious. So tender. That's how you do it. Then you get your asparagus. And I'll spoon. Get a spoon. Get a little dab of that off the side, just like that. Oh yeah, baby. Then you get your mashed potato. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just like that. Oh yeah. Now, the best part is Putting your little juice on there so it don't keep dry. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Juice, juice, juice. And look at that. Isn't that marvelous? Woo-wee! Look at that. You got your rose right there. And then you got your asparagus. And mashed potato. Yum, 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 yum. Yum. 
But anyway, I just want to see, show you. Yesterday it took me two videos, but this is scrumptious mashed potato with asparagus and roast beef. Golden girls! Golden girls! And the best part of this show that I'm going to have afterwards later on tonight. I can't forget the cheesecake. The cheesecake. Yummy, 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 yummy. Cheesecake. Golden girls, you got me. You got me now. But anyway, I love doing this. This is a quick meal. I have my mashed potatoes, which I did. And I'm gonna cover it. And then I got my asparagus, yum yum. And once again, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Yes. Very good. But I'm all finished. Tony's at work. You'd be surprised to see this roast beef that I made. It smelled through the house. Probably smelled through down the hallways, but I did it. Golden girls. Golden girls. I'm here. But I'm going to show you a short video, and then I'm going to end it. And I want you to enjoy this weekend. Tomorrow's Friday. Enjoy this weekend. I may be back next week. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next. But I just want you to watch my videos, okay? So stay in tune. And let me change where I have to go. And then I'll get back to you and say, God bless you. Okay. Now, get back to where I was. Yeah. Where are you? Yes, I have to go in this part. Okay, Dorothy. Dorothy, uh, Uh, hold on I'm here I know it's sometimes I just want you to be able to see this and uh, enjoy it because this was a quick meal today and I'm all done with it let me see if I could get it in for you uh there we are. Okay. I got it. Oh, yeah. But it's a sock company. You know, and, of course, the, the commercial. But, anyway, that's okay. But, I want you to be able to watch my videos. Golden Girls today. Golden Girls. But this part, I want you to see, and then I'll come back, and then I'll end this video. But enjoy the roast beef. Shall I set this down someplace? No, Rose. Go to the corner and open a stand. I feel better just lying here. The ride and the car could only make me feel worse. Yeah, she's right, Dorothy. Sometimes just lying motionless is the best thing a person can do. That didn't sound right when you said it on our honeymoon, and it doesn't sound right now. Rose, I have read every want ad in the paper. Mine is not here. Are you sure you dropped it off at the newspaper office? Dorothy, you told me exactly what you wanted me to do a dozen times. Any idiot could have done. I know, honey, but you were the only one going down. <laughs> How am I supposed to study for my French final with a 14-year-old in the house? It's hard enough with an 80-year-old. <laughs> Are you referring to me? Of course not, Ma. I'm referring to Cary Grant. He's living in the broom closet. <laughs> One thing I know for sure, I have not lost my hourglass figure. It looks like somebody poured about 90 minutes of extra sand in the glass. <laughs> he uh, just flew in from Minneapolis. Minneapolis, Minnesota? No, Rose, Minneapolis, France. <laughs> oh, I'm from Minnesota. 
I'm from Minnesota, too. Then you just moved to France? <laughs> Welcome to my life. It's nice meeting you, Ted, but I have to go to work. Oh, what do you do? Uh, she's Gary Hart's campaign <laughs> Much, but you don't have to get out of bed to do it. <laughs> this is what you've been doing for the past 45 minutes. Oh, uh, well, isn't he cute? I call him Scotty. <laughs> now you can call him garbage. Damn, there's nothing wrong with my taste. You've seen that ring that I picked out for Dorothy. Yeah. Actually, he was going for a bracelet, but the mechanical claw grabbed the ring. <laughs> I think the funeral home has someone who handles that branch. <laughs> but thank you for caring. Dorothy, should I get Sophia a glass of water? No, Rose, you should sit here and watch her half herself to death. <laughs> Are you sure? Get the water! Dorothy, I have a confession to make. I slipped through the cracks of the St. Olaf school system. <laughs> it's very hard to believe. I've seen you almost complete a TV Guide crossword puzzle. <laughs> The color of chivalry. When men used to open doors for you, pull out your chair, tip their hat, kiss your hand, help you down out of your carriage, leave calling cards and little silver salves. So how far back do you want to go, Blanche? I mean, do you still want to be able to vote? Dorothy, our director said to prepare for our roles, we must become cats. That's why I've been playing with your ball of yarn. And Blanche has been making those high-pitched screeching sounds in her room at night. Practicing for this part for a lifetime, haven't you? You're little Dorothy Petrillo. That's right. You haven't changed a bit. Same gorgeous smile, pretty eyes, beautiful figure, long golden blonde hair. You have cataracts, don't you, Mr. Weiss? <laughs> you know, this must be my lucky day. I usually end up sitting next to a fat, sweaty man who insists on taking his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> what kept you? I'm panting, Dorothy. Is the UPS man wearing his tight overalls again? Whoop, it is really coming down. What's coming down? <laughs> the Literace marquee at Caesar's Palace. Look here, now you be Frank, I'll be you. Okay? Well, Frank? You know, I've been thinking, this is the third Saturday of our relationship, and I don't even know what you like to eat. Why don't you come over for dinner this Saturday night and let me find out what whets your appetite. And what are you serving for dessert, Blanche? Penicillin? Rose, we don't necessarily get the parents we want. We get the ones we're dealt. You know who my fantasy parents were? Who, Blanche? Masters and Johnson? Is this dress me? It's too tight, it's too short, and it shows too much cleavage for a woman your age. <laughs> yes, Blanche, it's you. That's it. That's it. I'm glad that you love it. They're always eating cheesecake when they're down and out. Or happy, or whatever but cheesecake they eat. And like I said, this is a plate today of the Golan Girls. You got your mashed potato, you got your roast, and you got your asparagus. What a delight. But anyway, in the Golan Girls, Dorothy, Sobri so Sophia, uh, Rose, and Blank, and Stan. They're all funny. They're a funny show. Funny, they do anything. And they're all friends, all friends in a big house. But this Golden Girls was a great meal that I have today. And i probably see you next week. And I hope you're watching my videos because there's more to come. More, 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 more. But stay in tune and subscribe my videos because they're different every day. They're two times a week and no weekends but next week I'll come in and surprise you with something else
But anyway, stay in tune and stay healthy and stay safe. And God bless you.